Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hoag here with Let's Talk Money and a video for what could be the biggest investing theme over the next decade, self-driving cars. Not only will autonomous vehicles change the way we drive, but will represent a massive change in everything from public transportation, parking, and even auto manufacturing. Just think about this, if the cost of ride hailing services drops to less than 25 cents a mile, about a third of what it costs to own your own car, and it takes less than five minutes for an autonomous taxi to get to your home, Will you even need to own your own car in five years? That data is from the ARK Invest Big Ideas Report, a 112-page research report from Kathy Wood and the team over at ARK Funds on the 15 life-changing trends they're following. So over the next few months, I'm gonna dig deep into these 15 disruptive trends, show you that research, help you analyze it, and then reveal the top stocks to buy in each one. I'll be putting these videos into a special playlist on the channel called ARK Invest Stocks to Buy. Make sure you join the community so you don't miss any of those videos because these are gonna be the stocks that you wanna be in over the next decade. In this video, I'll show you that research into the opportunity for self-driving cars. We'll look at the different technologies, who's ahead, and who wins the race for ride-hailing autonomous vehicles. Then I'll reveal seven car stocks to get ahead of this theme and profit from not just the car makers, but the software, hardware, and the platforms. Stick around though, because after those seven car stocks to buy, I'll reveal one that everyone is talking about that you might want to avoid. Now in autonomous technology, there are really three strategies developing. Tesla is using a camera-based approach that's faster to develop and to scale but not quite as accurate as the LiDAR-based technology used by Alphabet's Waymo unit or General Motors. The camera-based self-driving doesn't have to rely on those HD maps or a lot of the other infrastructure that has to be built up first, so it can be the first to market. But this isn't necessarily a Betamax versus VHS outcome here. Tesla's camera-based system may be faster to develop, but a lot of those LiDAR systems are already being tested. And Tesla might be able to launch its ride-hailing platform faster nationally but that doesn't mean that the others are much further behind and the added accuracy from that system may be something that gives them the advantage. Either way though, this is gonna change how you think about transportation and even owning a car. ARC estimates that autonomous vehicles could lower the cost per mile to 25 cents for ride hailing. That is about a third the cost per mile of owning your own car. And now what's amazing here is with the sharing economy, you might not need to own a car at all. Think about it, okay, the average car spends 95% of the time parked in your driveway, at work, in the pink princess lot at Disney World. You really only need a car for a fraction of your day. Now, if say just one in 10 people offer their car for a self-driving ride hailing, uh, driving people around while the owners aren't using their car, that's a ride hailing car available anywhere within five minutes and at a fifth the cost. So. If you even have a car, it's gonna be for those rare road trips that you take, not for everyday driving. Nation, this is gonna be a monumental shift in everything from car manufacturers to gasoline demand, and you need to be investing in the car stocks that will benefit. ARC forecasts that ride hailing platforms alone could be a $1.2 trillion market by 2030, with an enterprise value of 3.8 trillion by 2025. Car makers could see a $40 billion boom in the next three years on that surge in demand and ride-hailing fleets could generate $70 billion in earnings on the theme. Now that you know that research and the opportunity behind the self-driving trend, let's look at seven car stocks to watch, seven companies that could benefit most from this theme. Then I'm also gonna show you one autonomous vehicle company on every recommendation list except mine. I'll be putting all seven of these car stocks into my paper portfolio on Weeble. Now I like the research I get on Weeble, but I love that stock simulator feature. The app gives you a million dollars to use in the paper portfolio to track your favorite ideas before you invest any real money. I'll leave a link to Weeble in the video description below. Use that link and you'll get two free shares of stock worth up to $1,600 when you open an account and make your first deposit. You'll get two free shares, a great app for investing, and you'll be supporting this channel, so I thank you for that. Now looking across the theme here, it's the ride-hailing platforms that have the most to gain as everyone shifts from driving their own car every day, but that's probably going to take a little longer to develop. It's the software and the hardware makers that are gonna benefit first on that build out along with the car manufacturers. So investing here, I wanna buy stocks across that supply chain to take advantage of every step in this evolution. Our first two car stocks are developing the LiDAR technology to enable all this. A $2.6 billion Velodyne LiDAR, ticker VLDR, is up 34% in the last year. And $9.7 billion Luminar Technologies 
ticker LAZR is up 200% in the last year. Luminar launched its LiDAR last year and was awarded its first production deal with Volvo, as well as announcing a partnership with Intel's Mobileye for a robo taxi service. The company is testing out its systems features this year and next, and recently partnered with SAIC Motor, China's largest automaker to integrate its technology into their new line of EV cars. Management is guiding for 25 to $30 million in revenue this year, and analysts are expecting sales as high as 115 million by 2023. And that still puts the shares at a lofty 323 times this year's expected sales though. And the company listed through a SPAC deal in December, and it's completely focused on LiDAR rather than some of the other business segments like we'll see with Velodyne. So maybe some of that explains that big valuation premium. Analysts don't seem too worried though with the average price target of $34.50 per share over the next year. Now, Velodyne is the smaller company but actually has higher sales already and multiple segments outside that autonomous vehicle vertical. And the company began testing the world's first commercial 3D LiDAR in 2007 and has strategic partnerships with Ford, Baidu, Nikon, and Hyundai. The company has a product portfolio in hardware and software with applications outside of automotive, and that's why I like this one better than Luminar along with a better valuation. In fact, this year's sales expected at 90 million are expected to ramp up to 313 million by 2023, which puts the shares at 29 times on that price to sales basis, about a tenth the price of Luminar. Analysts have an average price target of $22 for the shares, about 60% above the current price. Now the vast majority of Alphabet's revenue, that's ticker G-O-O-G-L is from Google and its YouTube ads business, but its Waymo unit is actually has the potential to be a big part of the future. The company has already launched its Waymo One platform for ride hailing with its level four driverless service in Phoenix and a fleet of 300 plus vehicles. It's limited to a 50 square mile area now, but expanding out and the company is testing in 11 cities. It's also developing this Waymo Via for commercial freight, which could be another $100 billion plus opportunity. Now, Alphabet is guiding to revenue of $226 billion this year, about 24% above last year's, and the shares are trading at just six times on a price to sales basis. In fact, I don't think the market is really pricing in anything from this ride hailing service or a lot of the special projects that Google owns. A recent breakup value analysis puts the ad business alone at that current market value. So, so you're getting all these other businesses like Waymo, uh, DeepMind, and Calico, it's life extension project. These are all like those lottery ticket bonuses on top of the return from search and YouTube. Now, analysts aren't expecting much on this either with a target of just $2,315 for 14% above the current price, but I think it's going much further over the next few years. Now, of course, at two grand a share, you're gonna need to be using a platform that offers fractional shares, so you can invest any amount rather than that whole share, but this is definitely one I'm holding. We've still got four more car stocks to highlight in that self-driving theme, but I wanna personally invite you to join the Daily Bowtie, my free daily market newsletter with all the stock market news, strategies, and trends you need to follow. It's absolutely free, just something I like to offer for everyone out there in the community. So look for that sign up link in the video description below. Aptiv PLC, ticker APTV, is another established company with benefits in that self-driving taxi space. Now the company is developing the software that's going to make all this possible and has already signed partnerships with Lyft and Hyundai, logging more than 100,000 paid rides in self-driving vehicles. Aptiv already has a strong business in the electronics and safety systems in the auto market, so not just relying on that ride hailing future. It owns patents across vehicle architecture, security, and user experience. Sales are expected at $15.6 billion this year, about 19% higher from last year, so trading for about two and a half times on that price to sales basis. Analysts have an average target here of $162 a share, about 11% higher from the current price. General Motors, ticker GM, is still trying to shake off its legacy car maker reputation, but actually has a strong future in autonomous driving and electric vehicles. The company received permission to test its level four self-driving vehicles in California last October and began testing in December. Now, Microsoft made a $2 billion investment in the project and is a long-term partner to give the cars access to software and its cloud services. The company is expected to post $140 billion in sales this year, 14% higher than last year, but I think it surprises on the upside, if not this year, then next. JP Morgan estimates that households are sitting on at least $2 trillion in excess cash savings and with those extra zeros in the bank account, I think people start looking at those higher ticket spending items like a new car in the driveway. Analysts are expecting just a 10% upside to an average target of 63.80 per share, 
but trading at just 0.6 times on that price to sales basis, this one could easily surprise higher over the next year or two. Still two more car stocks to highlight, and then the one I think you should be avoiding. And of course, we can't talk self-driving without Tesla, ticker TSLA. The $643 billion electric vehicle giant unveiled its Tesla network that could be the first autonomous taxi service available nationally. Now, ARK Invest thinks that this could be launched as early as next year, and it's a big factor in the firm's $3,000 price target for the shares. Again, Tesla's camera-based self-driving system is faster to develop and the scale than that system running on the LiDAR because you don't need a lot of the mapping and the other build-outs, but it might not be as accurate. So even if Tesla is first to the market, we could see some of these other technologies leap forward later on. Tesla is expected to report $48 billion in sales this year, a solid 52% growth on the last year's sales, but still pricing the shares at 13.4 times that revenue. Now, the average analyst isn't quite as optimistic as ARK Invest here, with an average target of $621 per share, but also a high target of $1,200 on analysts surveyed by Weeble. Intel, ticker INTC, is my sleeper pick for self-driving car stocks. The company acquired systems leader Mobileye in 2017 and has data sharing agreements with Volkswagen, BMW, and Nissan. It's gathering 5 million miles of data every single day, and that could help it produce one of the most advanced autonomous systems. Mobileye is also developing its commercial fleet robo-taxi technology for launch as early as next year that could enable a lot of the companies that we're talking about here. And of course, the bonus here, like we saw with those shares of Google, is that the market really isn't giving the company credit for any of this. And sales are expected at $73 billion this year, down from last year and flat through 2023. And shares are trading for a price of just 3.6 times sales, so any rebound in its chips business or that ride hailing would be a huge surprise upside. Analysts aren't expecting much either, with an average target of $63 a share, 4% below the current price. And now it's time for the stock that everyone else is recommending for self-driving, but I'm not quite sold on. $89 billion Baidu Inc, ticker BIDU. Now, like Google, Baidu has a solid internet business and the shares aren't crazy expensive. They're trading at about 4.5 times that $19.5 billion in revenue that's expected this year. The company received China's first license to test its driverless vehicles in December and, and was the sixth to receive a fully AV testing permit in California. Baidu showcased its self-driving Apollo in September, but the problem here is that the system it's using is built on infrastructure sensors. Now, that's gonna mean it has to put down all these sensors, so it's gonna be much more costly to develop and scale that network versus either Tesla's camera-based or even that LiDAR system. You need these sensors everywhere you want those cars to work. Now, the shares probably aren't a bad bet on some of these other businesses and the potential revenue, especially from that China growth, but I don't think you buy it based on the upside just for the self-driving versus some of these other stocks. Click on the video to the right for the five fintech growth stocks that I'm buying, five companies in my favorite theme from that ARK Invest Big Ideas report. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.